Yo, what is up Smash players? In today's video, I want to talk about one of the most underrated characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and also what makes a character good in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, I talked a bit about this before when I brought up Pyromithra, but I want to take a look at a different character because Pyromithra are definitely not underrated. But this video is inspired by Isim's tweet about why do people think Korn is bad? Like y'all, she probably has the third best applicable killing in the game, has great combos and edge pressure, her burst range is insane even though she's slow, and most of what she does is save on shield, and she has a great advantage state. Now, I want to talk about Korn for a second because Korn is actually insanely underrated in this game. And that is because range matters so much. We are now living in the, in the age of range, the age of disjoint, where characters like Steve, who has that sword F smash and, you know, block up smash disjoints are, or in the fair and bear disjoints are crazy. We're living in an age where Min Min is, might be the number one character who is zero mobility and pure range. Now, that brings up a good point on why mobility matters because if you see here in this screenshot, I have him with my friend asking me, random Smash Theory question, your opinion, what makes a good Smash character? I said, safety on shield, mobility, and disjoint. Now, if you have high mobility and high disjoint, you're going to be a damn good character, and that's why Pyra Mithra is absolutely insane. And then, you know, Mithra, she has the kill power from Pyra too, so there, that also matters, you know, your ability to get kills, but most of it is your ability just to win neutral, and your ability to win neutral is really all about mobility and disjoint. Now, Corrin, she doesn't have mobility, and that's why people rank her low, but her disjoint is actually one of the greatest in the game, and we're even seeing a character like Sephiroth is actually kind of proving me wrong, because I said he was really doo-doo, and he's actually not bad at all, because he just has range, even though he weighs, like, as much as, like, Kirby, and he's the size of, like, Bowser. All right, I just woke up, so don't mind that, you know, I don't have my smooth, you know, Peter Butter complexion right now. But the point is, having disjoint is really kind of just enough in this game. If you have really good disjoint, Min Min doesn't need any kind of mobility. And Corrin definitely has way more mobility than Min Min because we've seen Corrin, we've seen the Corrin on my YouTube channel where he is constantly flying around and using pin to stay mobile using the landing aerials which are insanely safe even like i would argue in general corin is much safer than min min because of how easier it is to space and because min min sometimes she has to commit with both arms whereas you know corin doesn't really have to ever commit it really feels like she has so much to work with so i want to conclude this video by saying corin is one of the most underrated characters in the game she is definitely way better than so many people give her credit because she has huge range and insanely safe on shield that her mobility doesn't even matter and when you really lab Corrin you do realize there's a lot you could work with in terms of her mobility maybe it's not really the best for getting out of disadvantage but having a bad disadvantage doesn't matter when you're always winning the rest of the game so if you enjoyed this video I want you to hit that TK thumbs up spank that subscribe button have a swell evening and I will see you next time